Welcome to another deck that the curator will either ruin or take to grand new heights. Uh, the curator is one of my favorite cards of Karazhan, and it makes the most sense in decks that already run beast dragons or murlocs. So I've decided to put it into Anything Can Happen, which runs the murloc portion of these three. Uh, in Paladin, Azure Drake is a fine card. Seems alright. Uh, Azure Drake's gonna replace the role of Loot Hoarder and or one of the Acolytes and or Solemn Vigil. It was tough removing all of those card draw cards. Uh, Stampede and Kodo is the beast that the creator is going to fetch and along with Kodo came a humility since there are two Kodos since I want there to be two beasts for the creator to fetch at least one of them. Overall the deck is going to be, it seems like it's a little bit more sturdy although the card draw potential might not be as high. Which is a major problem, and I want to put in a second Acolyte of Pain, but I can't figure out where. I also even cut some like massive structural integrity from the deck, I cut one Forbidden Healing. But seems like an okay... setup? Let's try it? I must protect the wild. I will fight with honor. In this uh, matchup, I probably want to keep Equality Pyro, mm, even though I only want to use it on turn 6, possibly. I imagine if this deck could run more than 2 Doomsayer, it would. It's so good. Oh no, I have two beasts in my hand. Rip Curator. The triple acolyte draw, the value. Yum. Bathe in flame. Mmm, delicious Kodo food. This has been a tough game for him. I do need to draw a pyro though. At one point or another. I'd eat that bell this blue gillet. Did I say pyro? I meant I need to draw equality. Oh actually I can just kill that with this thing. I probably should have just gone hero power. Hmm, actually playing the blue gill out kinda helps. No, I should have done guy because of any quality I certainly would have gone guy. Join the pack. Well, even without the pyro equality, I should still be able to handle this. Yeah, it's only a 5-5. Five, five. I was ahead enough that this is not enough to deter me. The menagerie is for guests only. Two draw? Okay. <laughs> the sacred trial. <sighs> He 
He hasn't played any swipes yet. Uh, but I'll try to stand against Darkness at a key time. It's possible that Sacred Trial would have been best. Make Sacred Trial the guy there. There's a lot of cards. It seemed like he would play four minions. But he didn't play four minions anyways. And imagine the calls for a sniper if I'd played that trap. Secret. Hmm, to stand against darkness? I guess it makes him use four mana. Actually, not yet. The menagerie is for guests only. Last warning. With that dead, I can play anything can happen the next turn. I went down just a little too much HP with that last move. I never got to cast Pyrrole Equality. Was I too greedy? Maybe I played this too greedily. What did I do last turn? I played Curator and then I played the other card. Mm, that's rough. Maybe I did play too greedy. I probably did. I mean, on this turn, if I played Pyrrole Equality, I felt like it wasn't enough stuff. And I guess Pyroly Quality, yeah. I'm... Yeah, I think I misplayed on two turns. One, I could have played Pyroly Quality on an earlier turn, too. I probably should have played Pyroly Quality on that turn. It's just I figured that after Pyroly Quality, he would have played a board even better than that one. And then I wouldn't know how to deal with it. I will fight with honor. I'm only gonna keep that whole hand. I guess the way I play is really feast or famine. Like, if the perfect situation comes up, I'll just have the answer because I am such a stinge when it comes to playing answers when they're not perfect. But sometimes I need to be willing to play the imperfect answer. I wonder if both of us having an extra card is better for us or worse for us. Worse for me or better for me. For justice. Given that I have the uh, clear, it makes sense that the more cards both of us have, the better it is for me. Since I can clear off lots of cards. Let the pain speak to me. Interesting. He has enough cards that the tempo doesn't matter. I don't care which one I eat, and I won't swing the blade. Better if it hits the big one. Might not be a tempo mage. There's an awful lot of card draw going on here. Turns with Azure Drake Doomsayer both turns. It's kind of fun. There's a full hand, I'm sure he wants to play it. Let's do 
it again. Probably like play a lot of cards this turn since he's been saving them up for the Doomsayer, but I've bought myself so much time. Hmm. These plays look really confused, I'm sure, to the bystander who doesn't know how to play this game, which explains why Twitch chat is very confused why I'm killing my own stuff. But I believe it to be correct, unless he's playing some kind of weird controlled mage which has never been seen before. When all of you lose is a 4 4. In order to clear the board, that's really good. Let's see, I've actually managed to avoid drawing all my Murlocs yet. It's kind of a problem. I'm tempted not to use the Pyro Equality, but I'm also tempted not to lose to Greed. This hand is ridiculous. I don't have two Pyro Equality, but... Once I use the first one, I'll only have one Pyro Equality. And that's not nearly enough. This is probably one of the worst hands I could possibly be holding right now. Wasn't sure if that heal was gonna be big enough. Let's make magic. Let's make magic. Yeah, oh, good. There's one card left. And hooray! I have another power equality. Oh, this is good enough here. Probably the next uh, three turns are going to be anything, anything, anything. Although I've had no world leaders die. But that can still work. Mm, probably preferred. It's not actually over for him. He has two Roaring Torches in his deck. Or available to him. So I'm on some amount of clock. Oh crap, did I choose the one that I discovered? It probably doesn't matter. But he knows that I... Have one of them. Oh man, he wins with one of the roaring torches. It's actually twenty five percent. Oh, despair. Eh, I end with a power equality, but I didn't have the consecration. Oh, well played. Well done. You win. Watch your back. I will fight with honor. Ha 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 
Oh, I wonder if that's tempo. Reporting for duty. But I can't play Doomsayer into only a 1-1. One -one. I have no idea what deck archetype that is. If only Ivory Knight was a beast. Man, this deck would be pretty good. Thank you. Ah, value you do the I'm tempted to do Pyro Humility there. Ooh, Curator. Follow the rule. Is that a good play next turn? Seven cards in hand, I'll go up to eight. I can only play the Curator when I have six cards. Or fewer in my hand. But I guess right now I'm doing too well? I mean, I can also just burn a card. Wow. Hmm. That makes more sense not to kill that one. Maybe. There's actually no real rush because he doesn't really want to hero power. Oh, I'm actually gonna get a lot of Murlocs from uh, Anything Can Happen. They're not gonna be great Murlocs, but Rogue can't AoE. Maybe I just play the Curator and I overdraw by one. I've already drawn both Anything's. Worst card to burn would be equality. But I think I could handle things even if I burned it. gonna let him keep making Murlocs. <laughs> I guess I will Ivory Knight and Bluegill Warrior. Bluegill his Bluegill. That's mainly for the heal. Actually, entirely for the heal. Not really for casting the card ever. Fun Ragnaros or any fin game where I pretty much just play any fin for the value. Alright, I think it might be time to clear this stuff. Uh, I can do that with Pyro, Consecration, and then heal. I will heal, I think. Or maybe I'll play Humility if I don't care about healing. And then the next turn I will uh, play the any fin. It's gonna be my first value any fin game. It's pretty exciting. So I've decided on uh, Forbidden Healing or just throwing away the Humility. Humility plus Kodo is a combo. Um, I also can choose to heal that one. I'll heal myself. I don't think that deck's very aggressive.
this guy's toast. We get my quality eventually. Okay, so the good news is if I play anything, I can actually kill that off. That's good enough. This is going to be the craziest anything I've gotten for a while. What am I getting? I don't even really know. I know there's a war leader and a blue gill in there, though. At the very least. I have the clear. I have two blue gills, I'm pretty sure. So this should be a better clear than equality. That's fun. I think next turn I have a chance of killing him? If he clears the board. Uh, I have to think about it though. There's all those secrets, so I can't risk counter spell. What did he just joust for? Oh. Hmm. Oh. That's like have the. So I can't cast this out of fear of counterspell. With three secrets, I think the chance of counterspell is over 50-50. Incredible. But then again, I can't actually check for anything. I mean, I can consecration, but then maybe I should equality first. And then consecration. This might get counterspell, but then if it does, then I only lose to a 4-4 kind of. Hmm, what if I play this one and then Consecration? That's bad. Oh my gosh. Or maybe this is lethal. It's almost never lethal. I wonder. Wow, I get Counterspelled for a turn. That'd be brutal. Ragnaros Equality, but then Equality gets Counterspelled. Oh my gosh! That was an insane Yogg! Move quickly. Alright, none of those activated, uh, which means it's not Counterspell or Effigy. I didn't summon any minions, so... Thank you. Man, this is... This is ugly. It does mean I can play this card. And yeah, I had to attack into the Nerubian, because it would be much worse if a 10-drop got effigied. Hmm. This anything can happen is going to be actually pretty ridiculous. Uh, if I don't get charging Murlocs, three of them, and the Murloc War Leader, I'm going to have a bad time. I don't really have a choice, though. Oh no, I didn't get a War Leader! Alright, slight problem. Ah, oh, no, uh, vaporize. What a ridiculous game. Curse you, Yogg. Curse you! Kind of true that every single time I've cast Curator, it hasn't been great here. But it's okay. There's always a Dragon Paladin for Curator. And there's. Let the pain speak to me. 
Yeah, Dragon Paladin's gonna be pretty sweet. Maybe. For justice, the battle. Dragon Paladin next week. Maybe. Reno mage with uh, curator? I don't understand. Dragon warrior? I mean, it needs to. I feel like the creator needs to be put into a deck that can justify already running two types of the card. And here, the original uh, deck only have murlocs, but Azure Drake didn't seem like too far of a stretch, and Stampeding Kono didn't seem like too far of a stretch. But in the end, maybe it's not that good. Here, maybe. Just a card. Weird. Is this still the one turn kill deck? Creator also seems to be better in a deck that actually uses their cards. Like a proactive deck that needs it to refill. In other words. Hmm, can't actually overdrum. It's like a better no mission vendor there. You're getting um, an extra 1 1 anti draw card. Barnes in the deck, that doesn't seem to be a one turn kill deck. Maybe it's a big control deck. Maybe it has a uh, Yasharaj and it has Isera. And those similar cards. It's been a really strange play. Maybe it's an Azoth deck. Maybe it's an Azoth Yasharaj deck. I don't know yet. Oh no, my weapon! Probably should have hit him with it, especially since he already used Sylvanas. This is the board clear suite here. That's so a bit much. Azure Drake doesn't actually fit this deck that well. So I think I'm about willing to call the science done for uh, this deck. It's probably slightly worse with Curator, but only a little bit. It's probably an Azoth deck. I kneel for no dragon. Man, that's a dangerous card for him. If he blows that up, he's gonna get a quality pyroed. I don't want to use a quality to kill that one dragon and then a quality pyro a second time. Oh, I guess I could have done, like, a Kodo to eat it there. Yeah, I'm setting it up for next turn, Kodo Equality Pyro. We're just Kodo Equality. And then all my guys will kill off his dragons. Or maybe I want to wait even longer. Yeah, this seems fine. Nothing. Okay. Yeah, it's probably just for Nazoth then. Dragons? Where are my dragons? Let the pain speak to me.
Alright, well, for Nazoth, I have the uh, Equality Pyro. That's pretty good. I wonder if you wanted that Accolade of Pain. Well, like, just the Deacon, maybe? We should probably keep the Kodo, uh, not because I don't want to kill this, but because it's useful as a kill on something once I get the humility. There's also some desire to mill him. Ooh, that's dangerous. Give him those cards. Yeah. More cards. Some whirlwinds? Wow, that was not a lot of spells. Let me I'm willing to go down to 11 here, and I'm up to 17 if I take Avenging Wrath. Which is an independently good card. Maybe another equality? I do have a lot of equality activators. I need to ditch the hand. Hmm. I think I take Avenging and then I play a Wild Pyro. For justice. Man, that would suck if it was, uh... For if it justice. is, then I'll just play Quality Pyro. Oh my gosh. Ten cards in his hand. What's he gonna do? That's probably the best Nizoth card to avoid killing. For justice. So I got the clear of the consecration. Blessing of Wisdom is pretty interesting. I could put it on Cairn. Mm. He's gonna kill me too fast though. The humility is probably best. For justice. For justice. And then I'll save the uh, Kodo. Or no, I won't save the Kodo. But I can still have a humility. I hope he doesn't run Gromish. Plus an effect that buffs Grom. And now you see why I hold Ashbringer for so long. His damage to face is pretty pointless. Oh, you got me. <laughs> well played. 